In proposition 5, we prove that with any isosceles triangle, the base angles are always congruent. So to begin, we are given the isosceles triangle ABC, and line AB is congruent to line AC. Next, with postulate 2, we extend line AB with point D, and again we extend line AC with point E. Now on line BD, we will create point F. So now with lines AF and line AE, we apply proposition 3 to get line AF is congruent to line AG. Next, with postulate 1, we create line CF and line BG. So looking at triangle ABG and triangle ACF, we can see that they both share an angle in common. Specifically, angle BAG is congruent to angle CAF. Now, since both triangles share a corresponding side angle and side, then by proposition 4, triangle ABG is congruent to triangle ACF, line CF is congruent to line BG, angle ABG is congruent to angle ACF, and angle AFC is congruent to angle AGB. Angle AFC is the same as angle BFC, and angle AGB is the same as angle CGB. So next we have line AF is congruent to line AG, and line AB is congruent to line AC. With these two facts, we will use axiom 3 to show that line AF minus line AB is congruent to line AG minus line AC. And what this turns out to be is line BF is congruent to line CG. So looking at triangle BCF and triangle CBG, we can see that they both share a corresponding side, angle, and side. Therefore, by proposition 4, triangle BCF is congruent to triangle CBG, angle CBG is congruent to angle BCF, and angle FBC is congruent to angle GCB. And so finally, we have angle ABG is congruent to angle ACF, and angle CBG is congruent to angle BCF. With these two facts, we can apply axiom 3 to show that angle ABG minus angle CBG is congruent to angle ACF minus angle BCF. And what this turns out to be is angle ABC is congruent to angle ACB, which are the base angles of our given isosceles triangle.